Hey guys, happy Saturday. Oh my gosh, we got some good news today. As you can tell by the title, I am enjoying an oats, banana, and peanut butter smoothie. So delicious. And I just got finished playing with this palette from ColourPop, the newest one that came out. So I'm in a good mood. And what puts me in an even better mood is the fact that Natasha Denona just revealed her newest mini eyeshadow palette. So I turned the camera on and we are going to talk about it. So she's been teasing this. Yesterday she totally gave it away. She posted a photo of the bronze palette and then a black and white photo of the mini palette. So duh, mini bronze. Now I don't have the mini bronze palette if that's why you're here. When one of my favorite brands announces a new palette, I kind of give my first impressions without even trying it and telling you my thoughts. Yeah, mini bronze palette. I mean, it feels like a natural progression of what she She's doing with her line. She's taking all of her larger palettes and turning them into minis. It's a very smart marketing strategy. And so the target this time was the bronze palette, which is a midi size, which I think is very interesting when she chooses to create minis of the midi size instead of her bigger palettes. But yeah, let's take a look. So we're going to start off with the reveal on her Instagram story. I've taken a quick look at everything. I haven't done like a hard investigation yet in case you're wondering what I know, um, not much. Not much more than you do if you haven't seen her stories yet. Okay, so here it is. This is the reveal on her IG story, the new mini bronze palette right below the big or midi size bronze palette. From what I'm seeing, I feel like these two colors look the same. These two colors look similar, but this has a little bit more reddish purple in there. I don't see something similar to this shade, but it's definitely doable. We have, I told you that, this shade right here kind of looks a little cooler than these two, interesting. And then this shade right here would be closest to this one, but this one is more brownie orange. This one definitely is more red. So these are the only two shades that I feel like are super close, but the other colors they're not that special. Like this palette is not a unique palette, but it is about getting an essential summer palette and summer colors within one color story. So I'm not gonna knock it, but it's nothing new, nothing exciting color story wise from what I'm able to tell so far. And so you're able to pre-order it on the Natasha Denona website if you want. For me, if I wanted to order it because it's below a certain amount of money, it's $25 for shipping. So I'm just going to wait for it to come out on Sephora. So I'm not pre-ordering it, though I do think the shipping for Natasha Denona is really, really fast. And sometimes you get lucky and get the palette a little earlier, which is beneficial for somebody like me who does this for a job. But I'm not paying $25 for shipping. Sorry about it. But here's a closer look at the palette. You can see there's four creamy mattes and then one metallic shade. So it makes sense. Okay, you guys, it does make sense for there to be four mattes because you can get a little bit more versatility with your looks with the more number of mattes you have. But also, it's like boring, you know? I like fun palettes. So as you guys know, uh, Natasha Denona sells her products in a lot of places. So it's going to be available on Sephora's app July 18th. That's when I'm going to be ordering it online July 19th and then in stores July 27th. And then Beautylish July 19th. Here's all the EU stores that it's going to. UK. I love how she always shares exactly where and when the product is going to become available. That's something that's awesome that Natasha Denona does. So I really enjoy that. So let's pop into the Natasha Denona website to see what details we can pull. You can see the new mini bronze eyeshadow palette officially launching July 19th. You see the palette here on the website. I would say Natasha's colors aren't normally misleading. I think she does a really nice job with photography. So let's go to the page. It's going to be $27. Am I crazy or is that a little bit more expensive? Aren't they normally $25? They're all $27 online. So either she did price increases or I'm crazy, but it's $27. And by nature with these palettes, she has a whole collection of these. These are not technically a good value for the price per gram. However, Natasha Denona palettes are extremely expensive. They're quite pricey. So these are a good way to try the formula and get her good formula, hopefully, for something that's not going to break the bank and hurt your wallet all at once. When she first started with these minis, they weren't as good quality, but now I've noticed a repetitive pattern of them being as good quality as her full-size palettes. So let's see, $27. Inspired by Natasha's best-selling midi bronze palette, which we did the comparisons earlier. It's a 
shade extension from this palette bringing together five warm toned neutrals in creamy matte and metallic finishes perfect for summer or fall i do agree with everything that's being said here's all the details it looks like it's going to be made in italy which is awesome that she has this on the site be loud and proud about it girl here is the weight and everything if you need to know and then we have the shade description so i did see the shades earlier trend mood posted them and from what i could find i didn't see that these were repeat shades but I know that you guys will let me know if I'm incorrect I didn't look too incredibly hard but there definitely are not any dupes from this palette or any repeat shades if there are any previous repeat shades let me know and sometimes Natasha does disclose when they're repeat shades and just have different names but as far as I know right now they seem to be new shades but if they were repeats I wouldn't be surprised because these are pretty neutral colors so just let me know down below as more information comes out but we have Russet, which is a matte, warm, dark brown. Then we have Flesh, which is a matte, creamy, beige nude. Gobi, which is a matte, medium, tangerine brown. Bronze Foil, which is a metallic, coppery bronze. And then Tough, which is a matte, medium, terracotta. So what are my overall thoughts about this palette? I mean, I'd be lying to say that I was jumping for joy for this palette. I don't think it's the most exciting palette that Natasha has come out with. Though I am not upset that she came out with this because bronze shades really are essentials for the summer and fall. And it just made sense with what she was doing with her line to create a mini of the bronze palette. The bronze palette is a very beautiful palette. I really like this. I've used it a lot. My main critique about this palette was that no matter what shades you pull together here, you get kind of the same look every single time. So that's why I don't feel like we needed a mini off of this because all of the looks look the same anyways. But I think it's a great way to get bronze tones in a small little palette. She does have other minis that could deliver a similar look. I like, however, that this is four mattes. I think that gives you a little bit more versatility in the looks. But like I said, you guys know I like shimmers, so it is disappointing to me. But it does make sense to me. And I think, you know, if somebody does not have the largest makeup collection, this is really great. This is great for travel. If you have accumulated a number of eyeshadow palettes, is this going to be something that is amazing and unique in your collection? Absolutely not, but I think it fits into her line. I'm not upset about it at all. And even if Natasha Denona comes out with a boring palette, I don't get too upset like I do with Pat McGrath because Natasha's line and collection offers a lot of range. She comes out with the boring palettes, but she also is not afraid to step outside of the box and she definitely fulfills me in that area as well. So she pleases everybody. And that's what I really like about the eyeshadow palettes that she comes out with. And I'm excited. I feel like this is going to be a good one. You kind of can't mess these tones up, if I'm being honest. Neutral browns are like the easiest shades to formulate, especially on the warmer side. So she has to kill it with this. And then her foil shades are always quite incredible. What I'm most interested in seeing is how dupable this palette is within her own range. I'm excited to compare these to other palettes that I have from her. It does look like a decent extension of the bronze palette. However, I just feel like this one didn't need an extension because you can't get many looks and variety with this palette anyways. But it's in a small travel format. It's a much more palatable price to pay for Natasha Denona's formula. So I think it's a good launch, just not jumping for joy about it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Are you guys going to pick this up? One of my favorite parts of these videos is hearing your thoughts and what you think about this palette. I'm trying to see before I get off here. It does not specify whether or not it is going to be limited edition. Natasha Denona normally isn't honest about that, if I'm being honest in the first place. We'll see. Time will tell. But I'm excited to hear you guys' thoughts on this one. I'm excited to see what Natasha comes out with later in the year. I feel like she has some exciting things in the works. So this one was just kind of a eh launch that's perfect for summer so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful make sure you're subscribed to my channel because i of course will be picking this up reviewing it swatching doing swatch comparisons if there's any palette in particular you want me to compare this to in my review let me know down below now is your time to speak and i'm gonna head out so i will catch you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one